Number 1. Pedestrian-friendly Old Town Breda. A great way to get to know your way around any new city is to simply get out and walk. Breda is certainly no exception, and its picturesque Old Town Center is a wonderful place to explore on foot, day, or night. Start your Breda sightseeing adventure in the Grote Market or Great Market. Surrounded by a ring of canals, the Grote Market is home to the majestic Grote Kirk and the 18th century town hall, Stadus. Number 2. Breda Town Hall. While exploring the charming Grote Market, be sure to look out for the elegant Breda Town Hall, Stadus. The oldest part of this historic building is the Great Hall, along with the adjoining little town hall, Klein Redthwies. The Stadus was built in 1767 by combining four adjoining houses to create a unified facade. Number 3. Grote Kirk. Built in 1290 in Gothic style, Grote Kirk, the great church or church of Our Lady, Onslieve Rauekirk, also shows a number of interesting Renaissance influences. These were added later, most noticeably in the choir which recently underwent a five-year restoration. The church's magnificent 97-meter tower, completed in 1509, dominates the old town skyline. Number 4. Breda Castle. Breda Castle, Castile van Breda, is one of the most important UNESCO sites in the Netherlands. First appearing in official records in the 12th century, this stunning structure has played an important role throughout the city's history. Several times pulled down and rebuilt, the present castle, once the ancestral home of the Counts of Orange Nassau. Number 5. Beginhof and the Beguines. The Beginhof, a district settled by an order of Catholic women known as the Beguines, was established in 1836, although the group itself can trace their roots back to the 13th century. The community's two churches and each of the 29 little houses survived World War II unscathed, and along with the central herb garden with its hundreds of different species of plants, makes for a very pleasant outing. There's also a small museum on site, which includes an original kitchen and living area. Number 6. Spaniards Hole. Located in Breda's Singelstraat is the remarkable Spanjardsgat, or Spaniards Hole. This large water gate is flanked by twin towers, the Granadatorin and the Duaventorin, and a length of wall. It was here in 1590, according to legend, that Adrian van Bergen and 70 men slipped into the town through the Spanish hole and recaptured it from the Spaniards. Number 7. Ginnikin and Bouvine Castle. Just three kilometers south of Breda in the quaint village of Ginnikin is the attractive old Bouvine Castle, Castile Bouvine. This well-preserved 15th-century fortress is famous for its superb moat and its mix of French, English, and German-influenced gardens. Number 8. Este. Jans Cathedral. Located 50 kilometers east of Breda and only 30 minutes away by train, the city of Esherdijenbosch is well worth including on your travel itinerary. Capital of the province of Brabant, it's home to one of the most attractive churches in the Netherlands, Este. John's Cathedral, ST. Jans Cathedral. Number 9. Steedlijk Museum Breda. Established in 2017 after the amalgamation of the former Breda Museum and the Museum of the Image, Modi, Steedlijk Museum Breda, the city's municipal museum, has earned a reputation for the quality of its displays related to visual culture. Recently reopened in early 2023 after a major renovation, Highlights of your visit include important exhibits relating to the fields of film and photography. Number 10. A Tale of Two Towns. About 21 kilometers to the southeast of Breda is the town of Barl Nassau. It's famous for being twinned with Barl Hertog, a Belgian enclave in Dutch territory that's been separated from Barl Nassau since the 15th century. It's a fascinating place to visit and includes unique experiences such as having a coffee break in the Netherlands and afterward visiting the cafe's washroom. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.